definitely did not get any sleep like zero i didn't even sleep for like 20 minutes i was just laying there thinking too much because i'm super nervous and excited so i don't know why i just didn't get no sleep so right now it is 5 47 a.m my surgery i'm supposed to get to my surgery at seven I just got done braiding my hair so it's not in the way during surgery. I cleaned my face, brushed my teeth. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat until the last time I ate was 11.30. So I'm pretty hungry. I haven't drank no water. Oh, I took out all of my piercings so like they're all clear. Took out these. I gotta say goodbye to my old nose. I keep on taking like deep breaths to like calm myself down but I'm gonna go wake up Michael because we got to leave it's like maybe like a 30 minute drive I'll see you when I get there guys okay so we just got to the surgery center we're like the only car here I gotta knock on that or ring that doorbell but I don't see any other cars here about 15 minutes early 6.45 Dude, I'm like shaking because I'm nervous and I need to chill out. What do you have to say? I'm about to sleep like a baby after this. You better wake up. We gotta pick me up. I've never been so nervous. <laughs> my, girl, my girl's gonna come out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. <sighs> oh, there he is, rich boy. Hey, go ahead and ring a there, about it. I'm so nervous. Like I'm shaking. You're shaking because it's fucking 58 degrees. <laughs> but I'm also scared. Nervous. Okay, let's see the side profile. Say bye. <laughs> say bye bye. As in, say bye to my speed bump. She has to go pee in a cup. <coughs> they hooked her up to some IV. Look at the socks, they are water. We're about to mark, yeah. We're focusing mainly on dorsal hump. You have a beautiful tip, beautiful everything except for the profile. So we'll just uh, shave down that dorsal hump and get you all fixed up, okay? It should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna step right up for a second, grab a marking pen, I'll come back in and mark you, okay? Okay. All right. That's exciting, guys. He's super cool, chill. <coughs> it makes me feel better that, like, you know. I need to show a picture how it is. Oh. I saved a picture of a nose that I like. Oh, yeah. Very natural. Yep. Oh, Not yeah. Too much of a pointy. You, you're, you're, the tip of your nose has very nice uh, tip defining points. The tip defining points on your nose are perfect. My main focus is just smoothing out the hump. Because, like, right here, doesn't it go like flat and then a bump? Yeah. So it's, you're just going to make it like. A just little curve? That's right. Or, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call it a super tip break. Just a little bit of a break at the tip of the nose. So go ahead and take your glasses off for me. I just don't want to like mini lumps. That's not going to happen. No. You are going to be great. Natural. There you go. So I'm going to mark your tip here. Mm -hmm. All set. Okay. So no fracturing, maybe. Uh, unlikely. We'll see what after I shave it down. We'll see what the how the anatomy looks. Okay. Like wider. Like my nose wouldn't look wider. It's not the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's nervous. I have so many questions. Did Misty tell you? Okay. I had a question about the uh, tool, the osteum, or do you use a rasp? I use a rasp. I use a rasp. Yeah, there are tools out there that will um, do the rasping portion mechanically. 
I just feel like I'm like doing it with my own hands, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I better touch and see what's, you know, to make sure it's smooth. Mm -hmm. We go slow. I mean, we rasp a little bit, feel it, rasp a little bit, feel it, to make yeah. sure it's nice and smooth. So it's like, take your time. <laughs> of course. I've watched so many YouTube videos about like girls talking about like all these things. So yeah, no, your your nose is a fairly uh, simple nose. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, every nose should be taken seriously. What you're <laughs> this is a pretty simple one. Um, so after we're done, you should be pretty comfortable. I'll have some nummy medicine around your nose. I'll give a, you know, I'll give uh, you guys my cell phone number. You can call me. And, or text me anytime tonight, you know, keep me updated. When you, when you get home, send me a text message, let me know you got home okay. Um, and then we'll go from there. You'll have a few stitches that will come out next week. And scar, when scar, does scar will be to? right under the nose, like hidden in the little shadow there. I kind of marked out where the scar will be already. If you, if you, uh, it's right at the base of the nose under there. I can't even see though, because I'm like literally blind. It, but the scar will be blue. Yeah. yeah. It'll be skin color. It's like, like right under the nose. When does it usually like start fading? You know, everyone's different. Um, the scar typically will be red for a month to two months, and then but and then it'll start to fade away. Um, but only if you're really looking close. After a couple weeks, you can start applying a little scar cream under the nose if you'd like. All right. Well, so you're gonna do great. Everything's gonna go well. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go along uh, during your recovery, and you know, for all the recovery type questions, we'll kind of address all those as okay. we guys move forward. Okay. I'm getting too like. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. So that bump is going away. Dude, the IV hurts. Like, I think I'm a baby about needles. Do you see where my scar is gonna be? It's under my nose. So it's right here. <laughs> he said he might not have to fracture my nose, but if he does, like, it's fine. I'm hoping he doesn't. <laughs> I'm so fine. Did you put my glasses on? Mm-hmm. How many fingers I got up? Two. Yeah. Like this little thing with your ear nose. You guys, so my girl just officially got out of surgery. They called me about 20 minutes ago. I'm literally up the block away from it. I'm gonna go into the Chevron, get her some Powerades, some Reese's, some some type of snacks just to get her going for the day. It says she woke up and she was teary eyed, so I can already imagine she's emotional. So let's get her some comfort food, right? Alright, right, guys. So we officially got everything. We're about to go pick up my girl. We're about to see her come out of this. Just drink some water, waiting for Michael. Feel great, guys. cough drop because my throat feels really sore that's why i sound like this but look my baby got me hooked up at my pillow my neck pillow he changed me into space because i was so hot he's elevating my feet got like 
my Powerade right there, cough drops, chapstick. I'm already drinking pineapple juice <laughs> because as you could tell, I'm like bruising already and I'm swelling up, but I put, I just put the Arnica gel like under my eyes and then I'll probably ice it after I drink all this stuff. <laughs> my phone doesn't recognize my face because I have this on my nose. I'm sending all my friends pictures of me. I'm about to text my surgeon to let him know that I got home safe. And then he took a picture of how my nose looks, dude. I'm, it's so nice. How do you feel, baby? I kind of, am I bleeding? I feel a little blood now. No. No. You can take it off now. No, just a little longer. She. How do you feel? I feel good. How do you feel? They showed me my nose, like the surgeon came right in and he was like, you want to see your nose? I was like, oh my God, he took a picture and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. Like I was so happy. And then the anesthesiologist said like, can you type in the phone number? The anesthesiologist was like, you were so easy. Like usually patients with rhinoplasty, it's like a hard time for them to wake up. But like he said that I woke up and I was like, had happy tears. He was like wiping them with the tissue. So yeah, it's like super easy. But um, I'm about to have people come visit me. My mom's bringing me chicken soup. You guys, I'm so grateful that I have like really supporting friends. They've been checking on me literally every second. Yeah, my mom, my other mom, which is Michael's mom. They're all just checking on me. Like couldn't have gone any better than it has. Right now it's 11.17, I got out of surgery at 9.30, so it's almost been two hours, and I feel great. <laughs> hey guys, I think it's like, I want to say, I'll check the time right now, but I literally, like, right after surgery, I like downed three of these because I was so hungry, and I was waiting for my mom to bring soup, but these are so good. If you're getting surgery, they're so easy to eat, and... You know, it's very light so you don't get nauseous. So I recommend those. I have so many people here visiting me right now. Say hi, Patty. This is my big sister. My mom got me flowers. Look. She's so cute. And they all brought snacks. And then this is the chicken soup I was eating. Say hi to the vlog. This is Abby, my sister-in-law. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> These are all the people visiting me. Oh, did you just spit all this off Oh yeah, act like, act like a brain munch. Hey. <laughs> Say hi, this is my mom. Hi. She's cooking everything for all my guests. We're living in this mansion. She helps us And this speed. is Carla. Cute, cute. She's making oh, ramen. Dude, this is so good. You guys have to try this. That's enough water, right? What do you have to say for yourself? You I'm, a, I'm a great, deal? fantastic boyfriend here. Yeah. He got me Reese's. Well, you vlogged it, so they already know. Hey guys, it's day two. I just woke up at like 9.30. It's, right now it's 10. I just took my antibiotic, took an Arnica pill. Honestly, I thought I'd be bruising a lot, a lot more. You can see that this bruise Trying to turn a little yellow. Those Arnica pills and the Arnica gel, I think, work really well. So you guys should really get those if you do get surgery. I'm not really bruising or swelling as much as I thought. I can see the swelling start to go down to my cheeks. Sorry, I'm literally blind because I don't have my contacts in. Yeah, I just woke up. I feel good. I mean, last night, I slept like this. Like with the pillow, this pillow, and then my neck. I slept sitting pretty elevated. The only thing is that last night it took me like, I kept waking up every 20 minutes. As soon as I got really comfortable, I just knocked out. Like I fell asleep for the full eight hours. So I know they say like the first day is like the hardest to sleep. But for me, I mean, I slept pretty good. Sorry, I'm like letting the arnica tablets to solve in my mouth but yeah day two guys and i look pretty swollen on my cheeks now 
but I feel good like I didn't really have pain I've just been taking the two Tylenols 500 milligrams every six hours so last night I took it um, another two Tylenol so it's a thousand milligrams if you take two 500 500 and then I put my alarm for six so I can take another two Tylenol but when I woke up at six I didn't really feel any pressure didn't really feel any pain so I just went right back to bed I was like I don't even need it and now that I'm waking up I don't feel any pain so I think I'm pretty good but I do have I feel like I have a really high pain tolerance so I mean for other people it might feel a little different but also I can breathe out of my nose he didn't put any splint or packing because I didn't do any septum work so I think my recovery is going to be pretty simple like I didn't really bruise as bad as I thought it was yeah guys, day two. I'll give you guys a little update later. Hey guys, it's like 4.21, still day two, but I did shower. And I took my braids out. And I just took my other antibiotic. I'm about to ice my face. My bruising is looking better but michael went to go get me like new tape and gauze at the store so i can just keep this covered i took it out early i took it off earlier and i kind of cleaned it not really bleeding that bad yeah i took like like an hour nap i just woke up so i'm just gonna ice this and yeah i still am taking no pain meds just tylenol all I've really been eating is just soup. Like my mom made me chicken soup and I've just been eating soup, eating those apple sauces and drinking Gatorade, drinking pineapple juice. And I did start drinking the vitamin C packets with water today. It's supposed to be really good during your healing process. And I still take my multivitamins. Yeah, I can still breathe out of my nose. I just choose not to because if I breathe too much out of my nose, it starts to burn. Give you guys an update either tonight or before I go to bed or tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day three and I took off my little thing. So if you guys don't want to see stitches, just skip this part. But this is how I'm looking. Um, it's 12 o'clock right now. I slept pretty good last night. From sitting elevated, my back was just hurting a lot, so I didn't fall asleep till like two in the morning. And then I had to wake up every six hours to take my antibiotic. But I did sleep all the way until like 11 today. It's 12, I just heated up some soup. And yeah, I feel good. Didn't take any Tylenol this morning because I don't feel any pain. Um, I just have a tissue because you do kind of drip like mucus that's why i keep the thing on even though i don't really have to but i'm kind of letting the stitches air out for a little bit and then i'll put it back on when i'm done eating day three guys i feel great getting a nose job it's like zero to little pain yeah i'll give you guys an update later so still day three i wanted to show you guys real quick what i've been doing that is helping my recovery so these squeeze so like especially for your first day when you get out of surgery like i downed like four of these they're just so convenient to squeeze so if you're hungry i recommend these to buy obviously this is always good for immune support um i drank one of these today so only day two i didn't do it the first day this is the gel that i've been putting on my bruising i got it at whole foods but i know that they have it other places as well this is the brand that i got and then this is pineapple juice that I, it was just like in one of those big cans and i just poured it in my cup and this is how much i've drank in so far i'll probably save that for tomorrow my little flowers my mom got me Bruises are already turning yellow. That means they're pretty much going away. Still day three, about to shower and go to bed. I only took like one Tylenol today. 
because I don't feel any pain. Good morning, guys. It's now day four. I had my surgery on the 24th at 7.30 a.m. Now on day four. I finally put my contacts in, but you can see my bruising is all yellow, so it's going away. Right now it's like 12.20. I woke up at 10.30, but I was just in bed all morning. I already brushed my teeth. I put more cream on my bruising. You guys, those Arnica tablets and the Arnica gel are honestly a must get when you get your nose done because look how good like it's day four and my i barely even bruised and the swelling wasn't even that bad but there's my stitches i'm wearing the same pjs because they're just so comfy and i'm not even doing anything like when i shower i just put on the same pjs because i don't i'm just home and these are like the most comfortable so but my friend's coming to visit me right now um nobody really came yesterday i was just home by myself just hanging out. I'm about to eat right now because I'm hungry. But yeah, I've been taking vitamin C pills pretty much every day. I've been taking vitamins every day. I take my antibiotics every six hours. I take the Arnica pills three times a day. I put on the Arnica gel three times a day. Um, I haven't really been drinking the pineapple juice because I have not been really swelling as bad. I feel good. I haven't even been taking Tylenol anymore. Like I stopped taking the Tylenol. Yesterday I took it one time like at 6 p.m. because I did start getting a headache, but this morning I'm feeling good. I did not have to take any Tylenol last night. I slept like a baby. I think at this point it's just getting a lot better. Yeah, I'll give you guys an update. And no, I have not washed my hair since the surgery. That's why it's still wavy because I braided it. Kind of scared. Like, Michael helps me shower. He just, like, gets the thing off of, you know, like, the one that you can grab. And he just, like, rinses my body. And I'm kind of scared to, like, even wet my hair because I don't want to get my cast wet. And then it'd be all bad. But my hair doesn't really get greasy. I'll probably wash. I'll try to wash it. We'll see. But it's not really bad right now. Michael has been such a good caretaker. He literally does everything for me. And I always tell him, like, am I, am I being annoying? Because it just sucks that you can't do everything that you want to do. But I want to thank him for taking care of me because he he's being so good. <laughs> Literally making my food, cutting up my food. Like, I love you, babe. I'll give you an update in a little bit. Hey, guys. It's now day four. It's hella late. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Dude, I'm still in the same PJs, but I don't really care. My hair is really greasy. <laughs> My sister's on FaceTime. Do not. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I feel good. My bruises are pretty much going away. My stitches. I'm about to eat some potato soup right now that I made last night. And I officially stopped taking Tylenol. Because my like headaches started going away and my pressure started going away. The only thing I'm really taking is the Arnica. And that's it. Okay guys, so still day four. It's just a lot later. It's 6.12. I was waiting for Michael to get home so he can help me wash my hair. So I finally washed my hair day four and it felt so good. It was like getting greasy now. <laughs> but here's me. Um, I did kind of wash my cheeks. Just not my forehead. I just been getting like wipes and just cleaning it every day. Probably update you guys tomorrow. I'm still pretty numb right here, so like that's how I smile. Tomorrow's gonna be day five finally, and then I get my cast off Tuesday. I cannot wait. Okay, guys, it is now day five. Today's March 29th. It's about 4 p.m. I didn't really record when I woke up because I woke up at 12. I didn't go to bed till late last night, but I still been sleeping good. Here's my, here's my bruises, my stitches. You guys, I've like almost sneezed like four times and it's so hard to not sneeze, but I get my cast off in two days.
well technically one full day i'm so excited i'll probably update you guys later tonight or tomorrow it's officially day six it's march 30th 2 30 p.m um i just took another shower and i washed my hair um the bruising on this side is like almost completely gone and this one i don't know why i bruised more on my right side i think because my nose kind of went a little crooked so i don't know if he like i don't know like he tried to straighten the sun i don't even know but tomorrow i get my cast off at 2 p.m i'm so excited i'm so over the cast <laughs> I just want to see the nose. I mean, like, he sent me a picture of my nose right after surgery, and I'm already happy with the results, even though it's still swollen. Like, I already can tell how it's going to look. But, yeah, I officially stopped taking my Tylenol, I think, day four. I think I took it only once, like I told you guys. And I haven't even taken, I haven't been taking Tylenol at all. Um, I just kind of cleaned my stitches a little bit. I still sleep like a baby. <laughs> I haven't really been putting the arnica gel on my bruising because they're already like going away naturally haven't been taking the arnica gel pill since i think day four I already started eating solid food since i think day four i started eating solid food but uh, you guys like this is just my experience i know people go through a harder recovery than i did but again, I only did just a small fix. I didn't change anything in my nose. Like, it was just a very simple change. So I feel like my recovery was pretty fast. Like, the first day I was, like, walking. I was fine. I felt completely fine. I never really even got bad pain. So, and I still was able to breathe my nose because I didn't get no packing nothing and i keep i feel like i repeated myself like a billion times but so tomorrow we're gonna go get my cast off so i'll see you guys when i get my cast off i'm excited the only thing that bothers me is like i can't even move this like how long does that last i look retarded i can't even like talk my normal michael's been taking care of me still Michael, my, both of my cousins are here. They kept me company for like a couple days. I'll update you guys tomorrow when I go get my cast off. Okay, so today's the day I get my cast off. Finally getting this off. It's like... My bruising went fully away on this side. I just have a little bit on this side. <laughs> my hair just looks Thank okay. you for taking care of me, babe. You're welcome, babe. Ready to get this off? We're on our way right now. Let's go. Alright, so we just got to my girl's the doctor's appointment. She's about to get her cast off. We'll about to see what happens. The swelling starting to go like down to my tip and then the stitches she took out put there it's swollen because she was messing with it but dang he even straightened my nose that's why i feel like i bruised on this side Thanks, no more bone oh it looks way better right here i think this side is less swollen this mm -hmm. side it looks like there's still low-key a bump because I feel like it got more like swollen. Yeah, let me see. But this side, like you can see the slope. You know? Mm -hmm. Can you see the slope more? Yeah. Anything to say? Dang. I'm happy. They didn't let us record the cast removal, so. Because all this stuff going on, the virus, so. 